Corning is innovating along with the fast-paced consumer electronics market. Its research teams throughout the world are continuing to work on ways to make Gorilla Glass even more thin and tough. With our history of glass, we're able to bring customers in, down into Corning, New York, as well as some of our global labs, and educate them on what glass is, what you can do with glass, so that they can get started with how do they design a product and get the best attributes of our glass. What we continue to do in the research environment is work to find new either glass compositions or processes that will enable it. And we're currently coming out with, just right now, we're coming out with a product that will enable at equivalent performance as today to be 20% thinner. So that really has resonated well with the customer base. And we're not gonna stop there. We've got research and development working hard on the next one and the next one. So we will relentlessly come out to enable customers to go as thin as you can and still meet the performance requirements that they're looking for. There's a strong trend in the industry to go to thinner and thinner devices. Our Gorilla Glass 2 is our way to support that trend. We have improved damage resistance in the glass and you can spend that improvement in our glass by either making the device thinner or by having improved damage resistance at the same thickness. We opened the Technology Center in Taiwan because from the beginning in Gorilla Glass, we found that a very high level of customer interaction is key. And frankly, Taipei is the technology deployment center of this industry. So it was important that we're there so we can give uh, real-time support to customers on an ongoing basis without making them come all the way to Corning, New York, or having to send people uh, all the way across the ocean to support them. So much faster technology support than we can do before we had this capability. The closer and closer you innovate with individual customers, the higher level of trust you have to have between each other. And one of the, the key objectives of CATC is to be able to provide them specific support for their, their devices, that they can trust us, that they can share with us and keep that technology to themselves. And we can, we can use the interaction to make sure we give them the best possible product to use on their device.